Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Bryony. I do cruelty free and vegan makeup reviews and tutorials on this channel and I also do deep dives into things like parent companies, issues that surround things like ingredients, all sorts of issues like that. I come up with these new videos every week and I also am beauty editor at Vegan Magazine. So basically beauty is kind of my world however that doesn't mean that you can just have one cause and for me environmentalism is something that's really really close to my heart because obviously we've only got one planet and we already know that there are stacks of evidence that are showing us all of the dangers that we're going to be facing in particular for our future generations now you are here for um, the controversial topic which is around palm oil. What I'm going to be focusing on in this video is what palm oil is and where you find it and then we're going to be focusing on section 2 which is all about sustainability and how we're actually monitoring palm oil around the world. Section 3 is um, whether sustainable palm oil can actually be possible or if it's just down to greenwashing and then we're going to be going on after looking into all of that along with the scientific evidence, along with everything else, into the conclusion and what can actually be done about it. So it does seem like quite a heavy topic, however I feel like this is a very important topic to bring these resources to light. I will of course have everything linked and listed down below as well so you can easily find all of like these resources as well. Even though I'm an empath and an emotional person that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be seeing things from all sides because I believe that when it comes to any sort of issue like this it's really important to take into account all of the scientific evidence, it's important to take into account the society impacts, the environmental impacts, the things like biodiversity, monocrops and how it actually affects the people that are actually growing these products themselves. The people that don't have any say in what they're doing and they're the ones that are being pressurized by big companies. So it's quite a meaty topic but let's have some fun with it shall we. It's oil palm trees Basically, they grow for around about 25 years. They produce these basically seed pockets which grow right up at the top. Think about the way that coconut trees have the coconuts up at the top. Same way with palm oil trees. So you have all of these fruits which are based up at the top and then you have people that are obviously going to whack those ones down. The problem isn't really with the tree itself, it's not doing anything wrong. They mature at around about 25 years, so same with anything, like any tree in case you didn't know, there is always a point of diminishing returns in terms of what you're going to get out of it. So at around about the 25 year mark, these trees do actually get cut down and then replanted with another one. So then they'll start to fruit again and then the whole process happens over that course of 25 years. That isn't exactly where the problem is lying here. <laughs> obviously. Oil palm trees actually really like to grow around about the equator so think about places like Sumatra. The oil palm tree actually originated in Africa however we kind of obliterated the resources there and they actually took the seed over to places like Sumatra and some other islands as well. It's between 85 to 90 percent of all of the palm oil in the world comes from the very small section of islands which actually also has very important rainforests as well. So in these rainforests you, you have around about 191 endangered species or species that are particular to this exact area. So this is where the problem lies, right? Because you have this big parent company that wants to be able to use palm oil in so many things. Basically, if you can think of a food, it's probably got palm oil in it if it's a processed food. It's really, really proliferant and it's also in things like our moisturizers, our lipsticks, sometimes things like shampoos as well. Like, there's quite a few instances where you'll find palm oil like hidden in so many places because the thing is this fruit is incredibly versatile. It has this fatty slippery substance that doesn't have any taste except for a creamy taste. So it can really really add to dishes, it can really really add to the way that a moisturizer feels, a conditioner feels, the way that um, a soap lathers and feels in your hands. It's just it's a really nice feel including a nice mouth feel. So you've got the fruit and you've got the seed as well so you've got these different components of the palm oil fruit and it's incredibly versatile. I'll just have up on screen here so you can see all of the wonderful things it goes into. Not to mention in Europe they use it as biofuel. Now this was seen as an alternate to using petrol. So you have a lot of cars that are going around Europe that actually use biofuel. Now there was a study that was done in Germany about this exact issue which I will of course link down below but we'll get into that in a bit. This one tree 
has so many uses because of the fruit that it produces. So it's very proliferant in our lives and it goes by so many names. I will not even bother reading them all out to you right now because we need to just list them on the screen and... Uh... There you go, you found them all. So whether you're someone that's trying to boycott palm oil, don't really know much about it, or are pro palm oil, this video actually aims to combine all of those views and take into account a very holistic view using, like I said, all of these reputable resources. So now that you know what palm oil is and all of the things it goes into, let's get started with section two. <laughs> 